We're now going to talk about an important concept, and that is finding the greatest common factor of a list of factors. So suppose that we have the numbers 48 and 90, and we want to know what the greatest common factor between 48 and 90 is. I personally find the easiest way to do this is to break down the prime factorization of the 48 and the 90. So we start by 48 is 2 times 24. 24 is 2 times 12, 12 is 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. So this becomes 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 2 to the 4th times 3. 90, I see the 9 and the 10 real easy. Well, 9 is 3 and 3, and 10 is 2 and 5. So this becomes 2 to the 1st times 3 squared times 5 to the 1st. We're going to write these 1's in for an important reason, because we want to know how many twos there are, how many threes there are, and how many fives there are in each one. So we start with the greatest common factor. What do they have in common? Well, they both have twos. So then I look at the powers, and my GCF is going to have the fewest powers of two, which is two to the first. That's the small one, so he wins. For my threes, I do the same thing. There's one over here and two over here, so I'm only going to have two in it. And for my fives, I only have fives over here. Since I have no fives over here, I can have no fives in my GCF. So my final answer, other than the fact that I goofed up, is 2 to the first times 3 to the first, which is 2 times 3, or 6. So 6 is the largest number that divides evenly into 48 and into 90. Well, we can expand this and we can do it with variables. So suppose we have 24x squared y 33 and 33x to the fifth, y to the fourth. And just to show that you can do this with more than one, let's throw in 15x cubed y. Well, for our numbers, we break them down again. 24 is 2 and 12, which is 2 and 6, which is 2 and 3. So I have 2 cubed times 3 to the first. 33 is just 3 times 11, so 3 to the first times 11 to the first. 15 is 3 and 5, so 3 to the first times 5 to the first. Then we've got x squared and y to the first, x to the fifth and y to the fourth, and x cubed and y. So we look at what they have in common. They all have at least, and only in this case, one 3, so my GCF is going to include a 3. For my x's, I have x squared, x to the fifth, and x cubed. I choose the smallest of those, which is x squared. And for y's, I have y to the first, y to the fourth, and y to the first. The smallest of those is y to the first. And so my GCF in this case is 3x squared y.